This procedure allows oligodendroglial cell death to be monitored in real time. This is accomplished by first culturing the cells. Then, the cells are prepared for live cell imaging. The next step is to provide a treatment to the cells and monitor the effects using fluorescence microscopy. The final step is to perform data analysis. Ultimately, results show rates of cell death in a cell population following a treatment or stimulus by monitoring nuclear fluorescence from a caspase-activated fluorogenic dye. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods like immunostaining is the ability to gather multiple time points simultaneously. This method can help answer key questions in cell biology, such as responses to pharmacologic reagents and various treatments. Though this method can provide insight into death within cell cultures, it can also be applied to other systems, such as ex vivo organotypic tissues, including brain slices. Generally, individuals new to this method will struggle as they adjust to working with live tissue rather than fixed tissue. Visual demonstration of this technique is important as there are a lot of steps to prepare live cell samples compared to fixed tissue. First, thaw frozen immortalized N19 oligodendroglial cells in a 37 degrees Celsius water bath. While the cells are thawing, add 7 milliliters of high glucose DMEM supplemented with 10% FBS and 1% penicillin streptomycin to a 10 cm culture dish. Then, add the cell suspension dropwise to the plate and gently agitate the petri dish to disperse the cells evenly. Culture the cells at 34 degrees Celsius in a 5% carbon dioxide incubator for 4 hours.